this is my little um, governor speedometer tester rather congealed together not made and as you can see the lower ranges this governor is bouncing around a little bit however if you take it up to about a thousand revs which is where I am now it's relatively constant and take it up to 2000 revs That's fairly good. 2,000 revs is not bouncing around too much. Uh, most of the bouncing around, I think, is my bad design of um, takeoff mechanism. Uh, you can see it's got a um, small hairspring, so it's working against one of the hairsprings off the governor speedometer. And I haven't really got the geometry of this right yet, so it's a lot of fiddling around to do. The interesting thing, and, and it's something that someone picked up the other day, is actually going down the scale, it's, it's different than going up the scale, for all sorts of mathematical reasons. But if I take it down to a thousand K now, a thousand revs, That's about a thousand revs, between 997. Um, it's actually recording slightly under. So that's quite interesting, I think. Lots more work to do on that design yet. Yeah, I think what I'm probably going to try and do is to make a, a gear multiplier system in here. So I'll probably take all this off and put a perhaps a 20 tooth gear here and then drive a 100 tooth gear here so that I get a much bigger um, angle of uh, action. But this is just a testing device. Just to, It was initially designed really just to test to see whether the, that the governor actually was working sort of as it should do without vibrating too much. And then the next phase was to put this uh, needle system on uh, so that I could see um, actually start to plot uh, against these different uh, springs. Um, there, I've got another plan for the springs as well, which is similar to the governor speedometer, uh, the one shown um, on the Smiths uh, page. So there we are. Uh, that's that. That's just a. That's just Mark Two. Is about probably going to be a Mark Twenty Eight at some point.